There are some that say that smaller companies can't compete with larger companies, but that can't be further from the truth. Smaller companies may have an advantage over larger companies in their ability to be more nimble and, as a matter of fact, not be bound by the historic IT organizations. They can get information from the end user to the end user and make better decisions faster than larger enterprises. Drilling down to the base level of information is an interesting concept. I was at dinner last night and I was overhearing the gentleman next to me talking about dashboards. Dashboards are a way to look at information at a high level view and it permeates even at a restaurant. But at that level, you can't make decisions. You can see the pattern, but you have to drill down to the next level of detail. You have to peel back the onion. You have to figure out where the problem is and how to take action to correct that problem. Or where the benefit is and how to replicate that benefit again and again. You know, many companies look at their data and have always seen it in the same way. But every once in a while, that nugget comes up. Whether it's, we know the weather affects how many people are going to show up at my park. But do we know how many people are going to show up the next day? Or the day after that? Or the day before it's predicted to rain? That's the type of nuggets that people are pulling out of the data that they've never had access to before, that they're looking at in different ways. So it's always been intuitive. When it rains, people don't show up. But what happens if you look at it a different way? Software automation can help small companies get on top of their data by understanding the patterns of behavior of the past and putting that together with scenarios of the future. So together with analyzing the past and the predictive analytics of the future, you can make better, more sound decisions. Take for instance, one of our local customers, a zoo, who was looking at their data in the old traditional ways and making gut decisions based on when they should open kiosks, when they should serve ice cream, you know, how many people were gonna show up, how they staffed their zoo. Using Cognos 10, and putting a little bit of business consulting behind it, they were captured additional data and used their current data to assess where the best places were to locate their, their food stations, how to target new customers for new revenue paying customers to come in. They even went as far as looking at some unstructured data around weather patterns and how weather patterns, not only the day that the weather occurred, but what happens the day after the weather? What happens the day after rain? Or what happens the day before it rains? So they were looking at both structured and unstructured data to analyze how best to maximize revenue, reduce cost, and increase margins.